Continues today at the scene of the hazardous materials spill on I-10 between Rita and Kolb Roads, where all lanes in both directions remain closed. News for Tucson, Shelley Jackson joins us live from the southeast side with the latest on what's happening there. Uh, and we know that these closures are still in place, right, Shelley? Oh, Sean, that's definitely right. Interstate 10 is still closed in both directions from Rita to Kolb. And it's not really often at 5 o'clock on a Wednesday that you can see it out here where it's completely deserted. Let's go ahead and pan over here to the right side. The risk of ha, live TV is having a semi drive in front of you. So this is Interstate 10 east of Kolb. And if we kind of pan down that road a little bit, you can see there are dozens of emergency vehicles. They've been out there since the incident happened yesterday, just before 3 o'clock. Now, DPS says the overnight cleanup was slowed down a little bit because of that winter storm that blew in with wind, high winds, and snow. So now that they have um, updated, they've updated us around 1.30 with the new radius map. They changed the shelter in place radius to one mile. Take a look at your screen. It's a one mile radius for sheltering in place. That was expanded to three miles this morning, but they've reduced that back to one. The boundaries are Kolb and Rita Roads and Old Vale Road and Rocket Stravenue. If you're in that radius, you're asked not to use heaters or air con, anything that brings the outside air in. Now, crews have been removing that hazardous material from the truck and are using dirt to smother those vapors from the nitric acid gas. It's a, a volatile gas or volatile acid rather used in agriculture production, metal etching, as well as some military uses. News for Tucson spoke to Arizona Poison Control this afternoon about the chemical nitric acid. It can form nitrogen dioxide gas, and that is the concern out here right now. Uh, nitrogen dioxide is what we call a respiratory irritant, and it can have delayed effects. What that means is that as people inhale this gas over time, they can have more difficulty breathing, wheezing, and, and things of that nature. So back out here live, they say that if you're just passing through the area, you really shouldn't have any exposure. It's folks that are out here for more than 15 minutes uh, breathing the outside air. And there is a flow chart if you want to check your exposure or your risk of exposure for that put out by the Pima County Health Department. Reporting live from the southeast side, Shelly Jackson, News 4, Tucson.